we apologize for interrupting your regularly scheduled program. This just in, reporter Buzz Flybottom on the scene with Dr. Flutterby regarding an important study at UTEP University on how the amount of light affects your growth and appetite. We take you now to the scene. Thank you, Jim. I'm here at UTEP with Dr. Flutterby. Dr. Flutterby, can you explain your research? Well, Buzz, by using different circadian cycles with my subjects, I found some interesting results. If you look over here at my chart, I'll explain. As seen on this board, the Manduka's life cycle starts at the egg, then goes on to the larva, pupa, and adult. The larval stage has five end stars. This experiment was conducted in the fifth end star of the larva stage. The Manduka is of the phylum Arthropoda, which is of the class Insecta. Its order falls in the Pedoptera of the family Sphingidae of the genus Manduka and species Sexta. From looking at other studies, it was determined that the increase of the amount of light would likely increase the activity level of the Manduka. Additionally, decreasing the amount of light would cause the Manduka to enter a dipole state due to their increased PTTH hormones. From the studies that were analyzed, it was determined that increasing the amount of light in their circadian cycle would positively impact the health and activity of the Manduka sexta. The materials listed were used in this experiment. Our three Manduka test subjects were Dewey, with 18 hours of light and 6 hours of dark, Louie, at an even 12 hours of light and dark, and finally Huey, at 6 hours of light and 18 hours of dark. Each of the test subjects were individually monitored and cared for, as it shows here. The independent variable in the study was the amount of light that each subject was experienced to daily. The dependent variables that were analyzed were the weight of the manduka and the weight of their food each day that was left over. In looking at the graph, we can see that the overall weight went up across the board as expected. And due to some of the anomalies, it was difficult to observe any trends in the weight of the manduka. However, in the end, the heaviest Manduka was Dewey, the 18 hours of light, 6 hours of dark subject. The graph of the food eaten shows that further testing is needed. As the high values for Huey, the 6 hours of light and 18 hours of dark subject, seems counterintuitive. While the quantitative data is inconclusive at this time, and the results show the need for further study. New trials involving more subjects in each photo period would improve the data results, and I feel that repeating the trials would lessen the effect of the outlier data. I would also like to include additional indicators of health, such as color, length, and girth. However, our qualitative observations showed that Huey, with 6 hours of light and 18 hours of dark subject, was the least active, whereas Dewey, the 18 hours of light and 6 hours of dark subject, was the most active. These qualitative results support our hypothesis. Although the quantitative results were inconclusive, the positive qualitative analysis of the activity levels shows support for our hypothesis and justifies our further study. Thank you, Dr. Flutterby. While here, I had the opportunity to interview the test subjects, and I asked them what they thought of the experience. I really enjoyed this experiment. I felt great with all the extra light. I stayed active and gained quite a bit of weight because of it. I was in the control group in this experiment. I really didn't notice much of a difference, but that is to be expected, I guess. I feel horrible. The lack of light left me tired and unable to do much, not even eat. I didn't like this experience. Now back to you, Jim. Thank you, Buzz, for that informative study. This is Jim Slimefoot, signing off.